Samar Rael, aka Screaming Crow, Jehuti Amende, aka Running River, and we're back at you with the UNDRIP, the United Nations Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous People. Back to Article 21. 21. Part 1. Indigenous people have the right, without discrimination, to the improvement of their economic and social conditions, including alter alia in the areas of education, employment, vocational training, restoration, housing, sanitation, health, and social security. Article 21, Part 2. States shall take effective measures and, where appropriate, special measures to ensure continuing improvement of their economic and social conditions. Particular attention shall be paid to the rights and special needs of indigenous elders, women, youth, children, and persons with disabilities. Article 22, Section 1. Article 22, Section 1. Particular attention shall be paid to the rights and special needs of indigenous elders, women, children, youth, and persons with disabilities in the implementation of this de declaration as of right now. Again. Article 22, Section 2. <clears throat> States shall take measures in conjunction with indigenous people to ensure that indigenous women, children, enjoy the full protection and guarantees against all forms of violence and discrimination. So, with that article being said, we less than 10 minutes ago had a situation where a, pot, a pack of wild, rabid women from the slums of this small town decided to attack our family while we were walking through town. We're often attacked, socially. They're often physical threats. They often run up on us yelling and screaming, and we always record it. But with all this evidence, nobody seems to understand or be doing anything about it. Our, our cries for help are being unheard. Article 23. Indigenous people have the right to determine, develop priorities, strategies for exercising their right to development. In particular, indigenous people have the right to be actively involved in developing, determining health, housing, and economic and social programs affecting them, and as far as possible to administer such programs through their own institutions. Article 24. Article 24, Section 1. <clears throat> indigenous peoples have the right to their traditional medicines and to maintain their health practices, including the conservation of their vital medicinal plants animals and minerals. Indigenous individuals also have the right to access without any discrimination to all social and health services. Article 24, Section 2. Indigenous individuals have the right to the enjoyment of the highest attainable standard of physical and mental health. States shall take the necessary steps to view and achieving progressively the full restoration of this right feeling unsafe when you leave your house is a mental stress. Feeling unable to be yourself without physical threat is, is stressful and stress is a very bad health concern in our community. So we have to attain a way to become less stressful. So we have to express when we're feeling uncomfortable. We have to keep reporting and stay diligent and stay peaceful as well because as long as you stay peaceful this you'll heal yourself article 25 indigenous people have the right to maintain strengthen their distinctive spiritual relationship with their traditionally owned or otherwise occupied or used lands and territories waters coastal seas and all other resources to uphold their responsibilities to future generations in this regard. And we hold that very dear to our hearts. Article 26. <clears throat> Article 26, Section 1. Indigenous peoples have the right to the lands, territories, and resources which they have traditionally owned, 
occupied or otherwise used or acquired. Article 26, Section 2. Indigenous people have the right to own, use, develop, and control lands, territories, and resources that they possess by reason of traditional ownership and all other traditional occupation or other use as well, which they now have otherwise acquired. Article 26, Section 3. <clears throat> States shall give legal recognition and protection to these lands, territories, and resources. Such recognition shall be conducted with due respect to the customs, traditions, and land tenure systems of the indigenous peoples concerned. So that has to do with our laws and our rules set up by our personal governments. That's us. The Article 27. Article 27. States shall establish, implement, in conjunction with the indigenous people concerned, fair, independent, impartial, open, and transparent process, giving the due recognition to the indigenous people's laws, traditions, customs, land tenure systems, to recognize and adjudicate the rights of the indigenous people participating and pertaining to their lands, territories, resources, including those who are traditionally owned or otherwise occupied and used. Indigenous people have, shall, have the right to, shall have the right to participate in this process. Article 28. Article 28, Section 1. <clears throat> indigenous peoples have the right to redress by means that can include restitution or, when this is not possible, just, fair, and equitable compensation for the lands, territories, and resources which they have traditionally owned or otherwise occupied or used, and which have been confiscated, taken, occupied, used, or damaged without their free, prior, and informed consent. What article is that? That is Article 28, Section 1. Article 28, Section 1. Let me reread re that just one more time. Article 28, Section 1. Important section. Indigenous peoples have the right to redress, redress, redo, by means that can include restitution, or, when this is not possible, fit just, fair, and equitable compensation for the lands, territories, and resources which they have traditionally owned or otherwise occupied or used, and which have been confiscated taken, occupied, used, or damaged without their free, prior, and informed consent. We, we did not give our permission. Article 28, Section 2. Unless otherwise freely agreed upon by the people concerned, compensation shall take in the form of lands, ter territories, resources, equal in quality, size, legal status, or of monetary compensation or other appropriate redress. Let me read that to you one more time. Article 28, Section 2. <clears throat> Unless otherwise freely agreed upon by all peoples concerned, compensation shall take form in lands, territories, and resources, equal in quality, size, and legal status of monetary compensation or other appropriate redress. Article 29. Indigenous peoples have the right to the conservation and protection of the environment and the productive capacity of their lands or territories and resources. States shall establish and implement assistance programs for indigenous peoples for such conservation and protection without discrimination. States shall establish and implement assistance programs for indigenous peoples for such conservation and protection without discrimination. Article 29, Section 2. States shall take effective measures to ensure no storage or disposal of hazardous materials shall take place in the lands, territories of the indigenous people without their free and prior informed consent. Can you read that? <clears throat>
because we're going to show you. Yeah, let's, let's take a little walk. Let's take, we'll show you an obvious violation of this right here in the town of Musa. Article 29, Section 2. States shall take effective measures to ensure that no storage or disposal of hazardous materials shall take place in the lands or territories of indigenous peoples without their free, prior, and informed consent. Yeah, hazardous materials. So, the old ACE compound here in Musa. Full, it always has been full of hazardous materials. We, That's have, we have witnessed men in hazmat suits of various forms disposing of radioactive type materials. You might as well call it that because it's, it's killing our environment. As we speak, it, it lies dormant. They're dumping it into the Musup River. And this is the second time in less than two years that they got shut down because they were dumping the hazardous materials directly into the natural. As you hear, nature speaks the truth. Yeah, he's in agreement with us. That's what they're doing. That's why nobody's working here. They found something that is killing people that flies around in the air. So they just said, all right, you guys leave. And uh, when there's money involved, it always opens back up. As you see, there's stacks of pallets of bricks. I mean, we got hired to clean these bricks. There could be a health issue with both of us right now because for a little while we worked there. But they're violating and shutting down and violating and shutting down. It, just because you can't see it doesn't mean it's not there. But what article is that? Article 29, Section 2. Article 29, Section 2. That's a, a, a obvious violation. We're trying to protect the people in the town where we live, so we have, we, we're trying to do something about this. So Section 3 of Article 29 states that states shall also take effective measures to ensure as needed that programs for monitoring, maintaining, and restoring the health of indigenous peoples as developed and implemented by the peoples affected by such materials are duly implemented. Right now. Right now. We have something to speak about at the town meeting, but they have neglected to give us a seat and we've heard about the lead water in Musa Gardens but they have no representative either there's lead water everywhere there's asbestos and all other kinds of hazardous materials that people know are out here in our water in the air affecting us but we have been in fear of stating that we have an issue with this until now all right